do you do glitchless or not not glitches you do glitches but without using the save load mechanism or save load you can't just use save load for glitches and stuff you can still use save load but just not for doing glitches that require save load that's like some like that's like a confusing thing people get like messed up with you can do save loads but just not for glitching Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detection So I'm guessing you're doing like glitchless then? Your specimen which is fine. Processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety oh yeah, of and in bounds, you know. Like in bounds, you, you can't go out of bounds either. For in bounds, no SLA. We're doing glitchless, nice. Any new PBs or just like practicing stuff still? Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Kind of messed that up. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material prevents a patient grip will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty Still super practicing. Alright, respect. For like my first run. Perfect. I'll see you on the leaderboards one of these days. Not for PC, but for console. You will see me there. My first glitchless run was like an hour. 19, I think. With, you know, RTA, but, you know, You're doing very well. big difference Please to like an hour. that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the aperture science material emancipation grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate endothelium. That probably could have gotten me to the top. And teeth. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operation. The b hops go well, wild. Remember, uh, the Science bring your daughter to work day is these are, like, tested. accelerated backwards hopping and forwards hopping stuff. Not B hops. Like B hops are like where you like move your like mouse back and forth and like A and D while going forward. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. Once again, excellent work. As part of a required wow. test nice. protocol, really good. we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Uh, for ABH, you know, you just like jump and like hop backwards, jump, turn around, boom. But if you know, if you do it correctly, you'll go faster. As part of a required test it's protocol, easy to do. But like, you gotta like get it consistent. Was an get it consistent. Good job. Yeah. As part of a required test protocol, we will start enhancing the truth in three. It's really simple to do, but with like mouse, it would probably be way easier because you can do it like on like the first like frame tick that you get down to the ground, which is pretty cool. Well, safety is one of many enrichment center goals. 
the aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. This rent's going pretty good. Warning devices are required on all local equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate I keep seeing that and wondering how people did it. Thanks for the exclamation. That it wasn't being happy. All good. You're welcome. I think there is a tutorial by CRISPR that tells you like how to like ABH, AFH, and ASH. I don't know where it is, but it's probably like in the document for like the portal guide. Good luck. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Five thirty seven, not bad. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. No that should work. Nice. Barely worked. Cool. Six oh six. Okay. So this runs like really good. Hello again. <laughs> I almost shot too early. Okay, good. Like 642? Okay. So I entered like the elevator 628. And it should be like 642 when it like leave for you know this part. 641. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can do the cool trick here. Not bad. Really good. But again, I messed up that portal shot. Um, oh yeah, I gotta explain that too. Um, it's a build difference. Um, no version of uh, stuff on PC can do that. Neither can the Switch version, which is kind of surprising. It can be done on the orange box version of Portal and the still live version of Portal. Also, that box spent like that box twirled around. It that was funny. Okay, that's really cool. The box twirled around and just had fun playing with my feelings. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. Compliance issues. No nice. compliance so, is there are tricks exclusive to Xbox? Yes. And also another one in uh, Chamber 17, which this is Chamber 15. But I'll show you it when I get to 17. I don't know if it is exclusive because I haven't talked to the uh, person that did e the um, glitch for EO2 yet. But for basically that trick for um, 17. You know, where you put the cube, you can like step on the like left side of like the, you know, incinerator. And it should make a sound, and then you should be able to put the cube in if you do it correctly. Which is pretty cool. I guess I'm not getting that trick. Well, I, I still will, but not in the way I thought. Almost died like three times, no sweat. Cool. Alright, 17. It's. Yeah, it'll be easy to show you. Really simple. Uh, 
Nine thirty, thirty-one, and two seventeen. Not bad. The vital apparatus vent will deliver so basically, companion cube uh, yeah, you step on like the left side of that. I need to get back here. This weighted companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate well, objects how am I not as dead? alive, nice. and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to It's like rolled as not a uh like that and if you have like the cube like very like well just like not like bent like just straight it'll like be uh, like, consistent 100% of the time also it's been ruled that's like not a that it can't be done like in glitchless because it's kind of I would say it would be a glitch oh, whoops. Boom. okay I kind of messed that up but it's fine yeah, this game is kind of confusing. Oop. Nice. Nice. Three portal part two. Ah. Not bad though. I'll well take it. Be advised that the next Oop. test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical. I think you saw what I did for 19. The reason I don't do the other tricks like D-Lag or just Lockness is because it's kind of slow for menuing and if I do this one fast enough it will offset like the menuing stuff for D-Lag and Lockness. It's a weird way of saying it but it's true. No. Okay, I didn't die. I didn't die. Okay, this run still lives. There we go. Equipment malfunction prior to your victory candescence. Thank you for participating in this amateur science computer I don't think I'm offsetting Goodbye. the time, but. What are you doing? Stop it. I'm it's fine. We are pleased that oh, I got it. Nice. Final challenge where we pretended we were. Yeah, that was like a minute almost. Like it was 58 seconds. That good. That hit somehow. Nice. And thirteen ten. So yeah, this goes like pretty good. I can get world record. Got this, thank you. Wow, I didn't. I'm surprised I didn't get that. Or like I didn't trigger the um, rocket guy. And... Whoop. Okay, cool. Yeah, it can't be you. into those. Whoops. 
I actually got that. And I second guessed myself. Okay. That was confusing, but I think I PB'd. Fifteen oh eight. Nice. Okay. PB world record. Maybe a fifteen oh nine, but it's definitely a world record. Wow. Nice. beat finally got like the PB I kind of wanted I got an uh, OX PB 15 OX uh, nice really I mean there's like stuff obviously to complain about but 